la roo let la Hey, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday! Wow! Friday! Hooray! Big things are coming! Basketball season is over! Thank God, I guess. Well, I would have liked it to have lasted a couple games longer. Because I think I wanted the Thunder to win, even though I wasn't really on either bandwagon. kind of think they got a job. I don't know. I haven't been interested in basketball really since the season ended. I wonder what next year's stupid slogan will be. I'm sure they've already got one in mind. I'm sure they're already printing pre printing t-shirts. Stay hydrated. I need to. You know, when I went to Walgreens to buy Smarties, and I guess it's Smarties week, even though I didn't realize it at the time, I also bought, because Walgreens is the finest place on earth to get flashing objects. And you know, I love me some flashing objects. Look what they had. Marked down from $199 to $149. It's a, it's a flag that you can hang with a suction cup. And it changes color. Red, white, and blue. Although you can't really tell. Maybe if we put it against a black object. Oh yeah. Now I have a week. It's funny, I've looked at this thing two, three days in a row and I keep forgetting to show it to you. But I have now. But I have a week to figure out where to put it back there before 4th of July. Because it's funny, I actually moved the camera and showed you the flag hanging on my desk and I still didn't think to... It just goes to show that while I'm talking to you, I have the focus, man. I'm focused like a laser beam on, on us and our connection that does not exist except in my own head. And I don't even look right there. Although I see a lot of candy. Man, I'm hungry. I shouldn't have skipped lunch. Again. Because it's late. It's 6.17 p.m. Well, for me, not that late, but still, it's after 5. By more than an hour. So, 6.17 p.m. and currently 81 degrees. And no rain in sight as far as I know. Unlike in Wisconsin, where rain shortened the practice time at Road America. Big nationwide race tomorrow. Road race should be exciting to people who are not me, I think. Well, exciting to me, too, actually. Probably less exciting to people who are not me, but I'm excited. I love watching road racing. Well, I love watching NASCAR road racing. When NASCAR and road racing, that's that tiny sliver, that intersection... That's the stuff, man. Did you see that uh, my man David Gilliland was in the top ten? I don't know if he still is. Of course, he's not there. He's at Sonoma. I looked up the raceway now. They currently don't have anybody paying to put their name on the track, so it's just Sonoma. How boring is that? So it's not Sears Point. It's not Infineon. It is still the Toyota Save Mart 350. I think I said 250 earlier in the week. But that's really going to be exciting. That's Sunday. But the warm-up... The big race at Road America, the Sargento's 200, sponsored by the Cheese Company. In fact, it may be the Sargento 200, I don't remember. Which means uh, that Busiris, who I had never heard of before this race, but I believe is a grocery store chain in Wisconsin, didn't re-up. Sargento 200. Mmm, that's good cheese. In their honor, I will... Make homemade nachos using Sargento's cheese tomorrow. Or grocery store cheese, depending on which is cheaper. Cheese is uh, cheap these days, isn't it? It's like a uh, buck sixty-six for half a cup of shredded cheese that you don't even have to shred because it's shredded for you. That is a great food for the lazy, fat Midwestern American like myself. Wow, I am even boring myself. Let's see if there are any comments... I believe there are not. I'm starting to get these uh, notifications on YouTube, and they're not people subscribing to the YouTube channel. 
it's really random. Like the one I got yesterday. Added as a contact. I'm added as a contact. And it's like some kind of Google Plus thing. And it's happened now a few times. But it's not people subscribing to a YouTube channel. It's people adding my YouTube account, which is not on Google Plus as far as I know, as a Google Plus contact. And I don't, it's got to all be spam related, right? Well, the guy's name being Boner Box was a giveaway too, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know what the deal is. It's all spam related, right? Probably. All right, so I got nothing on Facebook. Actually, there's uh, something on the W. Whoops. Are you still there? Am I still there? Okay. Hang on now, I'll get this right. I have too many windows open. I'm in the middle of, here we go. Because I wanted to go back. What happened was a couple days ago I was taping and in the middle of me taping, and at the time I didn't know it, so I missed it. But there was a service post. Yes. And oh, there's a couple. All right, so we're going to go back and do the comments that I missed, but remembered that I missed somehow and went back to find. Uh, before the one from service, there's one from James, who said, Boiled peanuts are gross. Not quite Marmite gross, but they're right up there on the list of awful local del delicacies I've had to try. Uh, I really got to bust out a can this weekend and once and for all definitively break down this boiled peanut issue and resolve it. I've never had Marmite, although I have ordered Vegemite so that I could have tried that. Vegemite is great, but you really got to spread that stuff thin, man, because it is salty. But it's good. I don't know why you really have to work to get it. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. But is Marmite and Vegemite the same thing? Marmite I haven't had. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out they're the same thing. And Vegemite is the Australian one and Marmite is the British one. But talk about food a lot, don't I? Back to the nine issue. Uh, James says, uh, I used to write Curve 9s, but I caught hell at the pizza place I used to work at. I wrote a Curve 9 on a ruled order sheet, which made it look like a 2, kind of, resulting in all sorts of minor wrong address chaos. They made me write straight-legged 9s after that, and I've never gotten out of the habit. I'm looking over at my board, and it looks like my 9s are all straight-legged as well. And so are my 6s. But of course, I write really fast, so that's just kind of how we end up. Still, by the time we get to 119 over here, and it is Friday the, Friday the 113th, we'll see if I still do the one-legged or if I uh, put that bottom on it. It's all aesthetics. They both look pretty cool. Everything looks cool in LED segments. Enough of that. Finally, to service, boiled peanuts and acquired taste. See, that's why I think i got to try it but not give up on it. Of course, he immediately follows up with, I think canned boiled peanuts will taste like ass. Well, thank you. You know you need to heat them up, right? You don't have to. Uh, yes, there are instructions on the can, so I think it's probably recommended. Was that AA or AR behind you? I hope you figured it out by now. It was AA. Today it is BA for BA Baracus. Drinking milk, kids. I pity the fool. Knowing that older people, my parents, are watching these, I can't confirm my parents are watching these beyond the one that they've admitted to watching. Maybe they'll say something someday, but probably not. Are you worried about flashing light toys causing them to have seizures? Uh, I sure am. Add your own piccolo for fun. The week is over and so is my 10 minutes. Thank you for watching. I am CRZ. I love you. I'll be back Monday. God willing. And I hope that he is.